Tonight, we're learning more about the death of a woman from possible carbon monoxide poisoning in Henderson. It happened last night at an apartment complex on North Elm Street. Eyewitness News Miranda Meister tonight with the latest on the investigation. The Henderson Fire Department was called to the apartment around 10 at night for a medical emergency. When they got there, they found 69-year-old Nancy Powell dead and two children in the apartment in serious condition. They were taken to the hospital for what appeared to be carbon monoxide or CO poisoning. Carbon monoxide, it's, it is odorless, it's tasteless, it's colorless, so uh, it's hard to, to pick up on it. Uh, you'll have signs and symptoms, which could be uh, vomiting, nausea, uh, dull headaches. Now, they want to remind people how important it is to check their CO detectors, because it could be deadly. Typically, when it, uh, it, we have buildup, and it replaces the oxygen in the structure. And when that happens, you get carbon dioxide in the bloodstream, and that's when you start seeing these symptoms. The ages of the children involved haven't been released, but the fire department says any age could be at risk. Uh, it can affect older people, uh, not only just uh, adults, but also children. It can also affect uh, unborn children. They also say this time of year should work as a reminder for people when the time falls back or springs forward. It's perfect time of the year to check them to make sure that you have carbon dioxide detectors in your house. Uh, we check them twice a year. The Henderson County Coroner says a cause of death for Powell is still under investigation. The condition of the children has not been released. In Henderson, Miranda Meister, Eyewitness News. And the CDC says that you can prevent carbon monoxide exposure. Its website offers some tips to keep you safe. If your carbon monoxide detector goes off, leave your home immediately and call 911. Have your heating system, water, heater, and other local gas, oil, or coal burning appliances surface by a qualified technician every year. And do not use a generator inside of your home.